shit then, yeah. So, man just stepped out the bin, you know. Energies and good vibes. Yes, 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 my sub Biggs, aka to Mix Sexing, back again for Son of the Client. Today I'm doing Birmingham's Miss La Familia, her new tune sleeve. And I felt like, you know what, I was so close to doing an audio sleeve. Cause it was in the um it was in Spotify's like new tunes in it. And I was like, yo, I definitely want to do a Son of the Client to that. So I remember going on her YouTube thinking, rah, how come it's just the audio? I'm like, ah. It's very rare a lot of artists release audios and not music videos. Like that was a thing back in the day, back in the past. You could release your audio, build up some traction, then maybe three, four weeks later, then you release the video, there's more traction. Hopefully it's gonna get into the charts in a good position. But people don't really do that now because music's so easy to get hold of. So when I seen just the audio last week, I was like, oh, fucking up. God fucking and the wickedest thing, I only remember today, yo, she released a video on Thursday, was it Thursday or Wednesday last week? And I'm like, oh, I'm like nearly a week late. But you know what? Yeah, man, I'm a big Miss Left Familiar support. I think she's one of the coldest, not even just in the city of Birmingham, just in general. Because when it comes to the spitting and the singing, who else can you really tell me? Because if you look at some of the top ladies that can rap, you're gonna say the Miss Banks, you're gonna say Steph, you're gonna say Shabo, you're gonna say Lady Leisha. But all of them four there, have you heard them sing? Miss La Familia is a fucking singer singer first and foremost. So it's like, you know what? She's got the best of both worlds. So it's cold in it. But the only problem when you're a rapper and a singer, you're gonna feel like I can rap on here and I can sing on here. So why would I need somebody else? Bruh. So you're gonna be a little bit like, nah, I don't need anybody. Somebody says, yo, work with this artist. Nah, nah, I'm good over here. So it's gonna be like, oh, that's gonna be the only bad thing I've ever noticed in not just Miss Left and Me. I'm talking anybody in general. When artists from years ago, you know, it, it, it is very, it's hard in it to do that, to say, yeah, I wanna feature because you're gonna think to yourself naturally as a competitive person I can do it myself why would I need somebody else especially when you're that good in that genre you get me so it's like yeah man so as I said I heard about 10 seconds of it and I was like yo I definitely want to do a sign of the crime but as I said went to the YouTube it was just her audio so now that this is released I'm like yeah I need to turn on the camera still I need to turn on the camera because the last tune that she had I was fucking with it even though I didn't like the visuals I was like nah she was in like a box or something and I was like I get it but you know when you get it but you don't get it and I'm like and there was a shot where she was like the shot was her in the in the box and it was like about it felt like 10 15 20 seconds I'm like because you know in the video like it chopped up chopped up chopped up chopped up chopped up it was like the whole thing and I'm like yo nah this guy is killing me now this sounds like it slapped so I don't want to talk too much I want to get straight into this one it's Miss Left Familia her new tune sleeve no long thing let's go You know, you hear that? That's a real vocalist. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Like, whoever you want to call a good singer right now, as it stands in the UK, put them up with Miss La Familia. Respect somebody's graph. Aye, the voice that she's got, yeah, I've always thought, oh, your voice is fucking sexy, you know, fam. <laughs> Aye, mad thing. Aye, go back in, go back in, Miss La Familia. <laughs> Read that message to see what it's saying. Bruh. You can't keep doing this. I don't know what that says. 
We keep going in circles. You never understand I'm gone. Okay, so that's the brother that's bouncing. Okay, I was trying to figure out what was going on there. Rotted dead batch and all them things there, you know. Cheese, aye. Yo, hey, women, don't be talking to no man in a big, big conversation and you need attention and that. And blood clot batteries dying and that two twos. As a man now, you reply certain two two batteries dead and that. You imagine you're phoning her to see what I go on and the phone's off and that. You forget, I am a dick and all that just starts a holy but madness. Women love starting them conversations and the out and about on the road, you know. So if man on the phone you call, sometimes as a man you're not really into the texting, texting thing all day, every day. Sometimes you just want to pick up the phone and talk to her, you get me? To the battery's dead. I fuming. Rage mode that is. I, I, how come I can't see what she's written though, bruh? Look at that move. I don't like if they be telling the truth. You think you fool me, but I think you lying to me. All of the junkies are you. Look at that move. I got this funny print all on my shoes. I have been to give a to me. You gotta show me the proof. Say, what did I say? Man, I'm not really into the messaging all day, every day. You get me? If it's a serious thing, man, won't, and won't pick up the phone and phone a woman. You get me? Like, man, I'm not into it. Shouts to the real man, them the nut, that know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shit yeah, like all that, you man that can like just that, message like serious that. things and get angry and, and your phone still still keyboard worrying it. Yeah, bonfire for you, man. You man are simps, innit? This one's easy. I'm a big blood clot, man, yeah? And if you want to know something, yeah, bruv. All right, let's go back into this. I really want to know what's going on in this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> is going on behind her is a fucking madness that is not the uk because we do not have storms like that there is lightning bolts outside that bomb clock window watch this watch the lightning bolts outside of her outside of her window i seen it the first time in another clip and i thought Bro, what kind of torrential world was that? But this time I was like, yo, this was aggressive. This comes straight from Zeus and that. I'm like, oh, hey, watch this, watch this. Look at that Hey, look ya. Was she wet? Bruh. Cause she's inside the bedroom. She really fucked off this TV off the wall. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait, one second. And that was a big ass TV. Like, I know like videos are supposed to be fake. They didn't look like there was nothing fake about that shit. That looked like Miss La Familia's got that. Keisha Cole, Monica, Mary J. Blige. You know them women that love hard, but will kill hard as well. Oh, All right, that's it. We're done. <laughs> nah, seriously. That's a good one, bro. No, no, we're done. Them women there that I've mentioned, they will love a man so much. They won't even, when that man cheats, they won't even say nothing to my man, you know. You see the woman that did, that was cheating. All right, brother, she's got, all right, it's a long day in the office for her already. That's all I'm saying, like, all right, from when your woman tears the, tears the TV off the wall and it's that big and that, like, the fucking TV's nearly the same size as Michelin Familiar, and she just took it off the wall with ease and just dashed it around the room. Yeah, them, them sort of loves there. Yeah, you can just kind of keep that still. Yeah, <laughs> trying to get into them sort of, them sort of situations.
with that. Fuck with that. Yeah? Yes, that was Miss La Familia Slave. I am fucking with that. You know what? I'm putting that straight into my top 50 playlist on my Spotify. Sometimes I say it here and I mean to do it and sometimes I rather forget. You get me? So I'm like, nah, man, I'm not doing that right now. Slave, Miss La Familia. And I knew it would be a hard tune, you know. But yeah, man, I'm definitely fucking with that one. It feels like I don't really get a lot of... I don't do any sign of the clients, do I? To R&B music, and I really should, because that is my genre. But nobody ever releases good R&B music in the UK, and like, and it's a big statement to make. But say like, say like somebody says, nah, there's like a, let's just say for instance, there's a hundred R&B tunes that get released every year in the UK. And I feel like apart from like the bait ones, apart from like, if you want to still call LMA UK, and then obviously we've got Georgia Smith. But I don't think Georgia Smith makes R&B, R&B. Don't get me wrong, Ling Hustle, I love Ling Hustle, but I don't hear enough from her. She would be my number one. In fact, she is my number one. Cause as I said, Georgia Smith don't really make R&B. It's kind of like a different kind of way I wouldn't know what to call it. I don't want to put a name on it and it's wrong. But you see, Lil Hustle, that's R&B right there. But yeah, I definitely want to give a big shout out to Miss La Familia. That was a hard tune to leave. Hard, hard tune. Yeah, I couldn't find nothing wrong with it at all. So I definitely want, as I said, I've already put it in my top 50 playlist and I put it in my R&B playlist. So I want to give a big shout out to Miss La Familia each and every blood clot time. She's been doing her thing for a little while now. She's got the consistency. So yeah, man, keep making that great music and I hope that you can push this tune push it push it push it now it might not get the numbers that she would like only because it's an r&b tune in it like i feel like when she does a like hip-hop it get it, it it gains it gets the numbers that she needs in it but the r&b thing it may not hit enough ears but who gives a fuck that there is a tune slave remember i done told you myself biggs aka timmy sexy was signing out Bow.